Today we will delve into a fascinating topic that continues to steer debate, offshore companies. Specifically, we explore how these entities are utilized within legal frameworks to optimize international tax benefits, while also examining the recent release of court of defendants linked to offshore dealings. Eight years after the infamous leak of 11 million secret financial documents, a court in Panama made headlines by acquitting more than two dozen defendants. This case, which spent years of investigation, highlighted the integrated world of offshore companies. Offshore companies are often viewed through a negative lens associated with illegal tax evasion. However, it's essential to recognize that the majority of these entities operate with legal boundaries. They leverage international tax laws to strategically minimize tax liabilities for businesses and individuals, all while adhering to legal statutes and regulations. For instance, multinational corporations often establish offshore subsidiaries to manage profits earned outside their home countries. This practice allows them to benefit from favorable tax rates in jurisdictions where they operate, contributing to overall tax efficiency and competitiveness in the global market. The global financial landscape is complex with varying tax laws across jurisdictions. Offshore companies navigate these complexities to legally optimize tax structures. They comply with reporting requirements and ensure transparency, playing a crucial role in international finance and investments. So offshore companies are not made just for tax evasion, it's much, much more complicated. In the Panama Papers scandal, leaked documents shed light on numerous offshore dealings. While some were indeed used for illicit purposes like tax evasion, the recent equitals underscored that not all offshore activities are illegal. Many defendants were found to have operated within the boundaries of the law, using offshore structures for legitimate purposes such as asset protection and tax planning. Governments worldwide have tightened regulations surrounding offshore entities in response to public scrutiny and to combat illegal financial activities. These measures aim to enhance transparency and prevent abuse while safeguarding the legitimate use of offshore structures. In conclusion, while offshore companies continue to be a topic of controversy, it's crucial to understand that they serve legitimate purposes within the frameworks of international tax laws. The recent acquittals in Panama remind us of the importance of distinguishing between legal tax planning and illegal tax evasion, as regulations involve transparency and compliance will remain paramount in the global financial system. If you found this video interesting, please visit flexstrategies.com for more insights and leave a comment, like and subscribe and hopefully I see you in the next video.